Hello, welcome to Golden Creations. My name is Karina and today on our hashtag own it, we'll be making a burro piñata. Now I decided to make this little project because Cinco de Mayo is almost here and maybe you would like to do it for a decoration for a party or something. So now let's get to it. A lot of cardboard what I do is I just save my cardboard boxes and from there like if I have a pinata in mind that I want to do I just use those I already traced the burro on one of the cardboard and then I just cut it out and this is basically what I'm gonna use for the other side which is I'm just gonna trace it and then just cut it out also you're gonna need the cardboard that's gonna go on the side of the burro so what I do to measure how long I should make it is I get a string is I get like a string or something and I just measure it all around and then whatever, how long it is, that's how long I make the cardboard part. You're gonna need a glue gun, some glue sticks, and try to get a lot of them just in case. It's better to have more than less. And also scotch tape. And what I use the scotch tape is for when I start gluing all the sides and if the glue's not dry yet, I just put a little piece of tape that way it stays in place and I just let it dry and I keep on going with the piñata, that way I don't lose time. And a sharpie just to trace it. Also, what you're gonna need is some colorful tissue paper. And the tissue paper that you choose is up to you, it doesn't have to be this one. Also, you need uh, Elmer's glue, just any type of liquid glue would do. So what I do, instead of tracing the same side, I turn it over. That way, when I cut out the other piece, it's gonna be the side that is not, that it doesn't have like a bunch of drawings and stuff on it. Oh, I forgot to mention you also need heavy duty scissors. I recommend these. These, actually I bought them at Walmart. They're called Carbo Titania. Okay guys, so this is what I was talking about. I was talking about that to do it the opposite side because I, this is, to me, what I refer to is their bad side and this is their good side. So when you put them together, so when you put their two good sides together, it makes a pinata. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start gluing. I'm gonna start with one side, glue it, and then I'll just put the lid, that color the lid, of the other side. One trick that I like to do is I like to fold this, like just fold it. And then fold it all the way. Because the piñata we're making is not just like a straight line or perfect edges. There's like little round edges on our piñata, so it kind of helps me a little bit. to start with the back part of the burro. You don't have to glue it perfectly because once you decorate it, you won't be able to tell. I want to add a little extra glue on the part that I already dried just to, I guess, reinforce it and make it stronger. Because you the other side of the burro to speed things up here. Okay guys, so once you're done gluing this side, now you're just gonna glue the top of the burro. Now this part is a bit tricky because the other one you can actually go through and usually use this part on the bottom, but this one you're gonna have to like make it work. So you're gonna have to like squeeze in both sides and just make it work. So what I do is I use a lot of masking tape here. I basically tape it all around. I try to make it fit as much as I can. And then I'll just turn it over and I'll just start gluing on the sides. And once that dries, I take off the masking tape and then I glue where the masking tape is. Also guys, please make sure you don't glue your piñata to the table. Because that will happen. I 
like that guys, we are done building our piñata. And now for the second step. Once you're done with building your burro, what you're gonna do is the second step is you're gonna decorate, which is the funnest part ever. I love decorating piñatas. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your tissue paper and you're gonna start cutting strips. And what I like to do to save time is just stack them all together and then I just cut strips all together. That way I don't have to be one by one by one. Okay, so now when all your tissue paper is put together, what I do is I fold it in half once and then I fold it in half again. And then from here, I just start cutting little strips all along here. And then after I cut the strip, I just cut it a few times on the side to make it look a bit fluffy once it's all put together. So now that you have all of your paper cut into strips, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the lines across, like I was saying earlier. So what I do with this is I grab it in the center and then I fold it. around three times and then I just start cutting on one side. So once you're done cutting the tissue paper, what you're going to do is just going to pile it up right here and you're going to get your glue and you're going to start putting glue on your piñata and just start layering the tissue paper on. So my pattern here is going to be all colorful. So basically I can start with um, like yellow, then green, then blue, then pink, then red, just all colorful. Now I do like starting from the bottom up. It is actually easier to do it that way. That way you have more control and you can actually fluff it up. Okay guys, so now when you're done finishing decorating your piñata, this is optional. I like to use big googly eyes just because they move and they're fun. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to attach the googly eyes to it and then we will be done with the pattern. And just like that guys, we're done with the project. Also, you don't have to just make a traditional piñata. If your burro decides to be Wonder Woman for Cinco de Mayo, you can totally just recreate it and make a Wonder Woman burro. Don't forget, make it your own because what you create is golden. Now please guys, make sure to like this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you would like to see more golden creations. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!